up welcome back to my channel so in this video i'm going to talking about a new wrap 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 ql and you may know this before this video and you can do a project for back end api rest service you can use this much better and useful and powerful for for rest api and you can do from scratch and we we'll take out the code for any framework like .NET or even PHP, Python, and JavaScript. Um, in this tutorial, I we do with the Node.js and the MongoDB for the database. So let's take out the JavaScript. And we got the GraphQL.js this package for JavaScript. And you are going to use Express. This uh, I highly recommend it, and for job project, you may start from scratch with a press grab QL. However, and when you work with a new project, and your customer will not pay more money for this project. So, or even the project had the limited time to complete it. So, the time. To come this project, it's very short. So that is why I spend time on my long holiday. I spend it and I write it out a new framework. It's not actually framework. It's just um a project and help you begin. You don't have to do any from from scratch. And so I will show you how it's useful. Okay, so the first thing you need to do, I'm going to clone this, clone this, um, or even I can download this file. Okay, it's download this file, and attach the file, zip file. Now we got note, and I am going to copy that into my folder uh, tutorial, and move this folder and so now I'm going to name this um, wrap QR um, starter like that okay so now I'm going to open terminal and right, quit our old project okay so I'm going to do is a change to um, this tutorial and the first time we do see, we don't have a model install. So let's take out the, you can even you can remove package lock .json and just keep uh, this is the file and the model this is the file and the package. So we do need to install all the model required in this project. So simply you can try to npm install and zero. So npm the node package manager will automatically help you to install every model dependency in this project now you should see a node underscore models there's all the model include it already installed Okay, so once a moment I want to talk to you. This is the MongoDB. So in this tutorial, I'm not going to show you how to install MongoDB. You can check out my other video for MongoDB install. And I already start the MongoDB server on my local, is on my Mac. So and this is client um Robo3 and this is client software it helped me to um, check the or the Mongo database on my local computer okay so it's already start now I'm going to open in webstorm webstorm and I'm using webstorm the tool and I highly recommend this for JavaScript project. It is useful. You can use any other tool, whatever. However, I recommend it. 
uh, some life. Okay, so now we do need to take around something uh, to introduce to you. It's the first thing we do is a config. All right, so now I'm changing this preference and select the language JavaScript and need to take it in React or even just React so this is okay. So the first thing we do change a config file. The config file, the so default we set production equal four. And remember when you run build project, you can change it to two to make sure everything working correctly. So in default are ports and the port three thousand and one. And I just config a default admin user. The so email address is my name and my domain.com. And this is a part word already in the hash. So it's an admin. It's an admin. So when you log in, the first time you log in to get the token key, it's the admin. And here is my email address. And also, we do have a database config. In this project, I'm going to use a Mongo database. And this is a default Mongo DB and post. And this is a name as anything. You can change, for example, um, wrap QR, uh, wrap QR tutorial. Let's, let's name this database like that. Okay, so it's done, and we got the real time. I I already create a feature. It's a real time, and you can you can check it. Um, I will show you how the real time later. Later, not this for now. Not for this this video. And we got tag the custom wrap QL ties, and we got some model the default model. We got uh, this is a default model, and everything I just integrate to default model. And here we got the user role, user and token and role. The model as a default in the billions model in the help earth to make project more faster. Okay, so now. I'm going to run this project by npm run dev and this means we run the project in development now you should see app is running okay so running so now I'm going to do is open my local host um, port 3001 now you should see the matrix because we don't have any, any router for default so now let's change to API now you should see a wrap uh, QL and now we I don't see we don't ha have any database created because you know uh, okay so it correct I'm sorry database is created and we got the role this is a role default as mean we create the system will create default is so the administrator role and this is a maximum role which has a maximum permission now you should see check in the model in the permission and now you should see a default config we see like this um everyone this is everyone we deny and we don't allow any user has no role to accept our backend and if you are as many data role you can accept any time set as the file by id file it is update by id or delete by id okay and by default we are set the owner owner does mean the user create a new post in his post he can delete it, delete. I uh, sorry. He can find by ID. He can get the post detail, something like that, and also update the post with the, the owner. Okay. So now let me show you how to use the token. 
um, the first thing we need to do now I'm going to do the query first now you can take our the dark tab and select query and this default build in query now for example we'll we get all as usual and we got that we it's a return type an array of user types and we got the parameter limit as default we have 50 user we call back and skip it doesn't mean we can do this the packet packing installation okay so get back to that we got it user now I'm going to do query and for example user and we got the limit this for example I want to limit 10 and skip um, default zero now I'm going to hit run it but set deny this and default this the fill automatically fill in we just want to get back all the fill from the restful service okay so now this means a set denied because you know now I'm going to remove the key now let's submit it and that means the default um, so we got a set denied so because you know I don't have any login token so now I'm going to copy that open on my new tab and I'm going to do is a login I want to get an as a mini data token now you know the default we have a email is my name and my domain and the password the default admin this is admin admin okay so now I'm going to get a token of change query into mutation and mutation login uh, with email now my email the default and password so admin and we I'm now I'm going not to not I'm not going to fill any field return now I'm run it now you should see an ID and create this and even this you want to create again now you should see a user ID now I'm going to create more token now let's check about database collection we got new collection created that a token and we got this token with the ID ID we can use uh, this ID for header authorization or even you can pass it from query let me show you it's uh, next minute okay so now one more time I want to include my ID in my data response now again fill ID now we got see we should see a user ID right here okay so now I believe we should have a new token created now this two token ID it belong to um, the admin need data user at default user okay so let's copy one of them let's copy that and I am going to get back with the first tab I want to hit again now you should see a set denied but I'm trying to change this uh, oh equal like that and his enter because you know um, the header token in it. let me show you in the curve and I believe we should see in the index file and the index file I just get it to I just um, allow from the query this is all and even in authorization okay so now his enter again now now submit this now you should see a user and with our now let me change all to an invite something like this now hit scan now you should see a set denied because the token key is not valid okay let's copy another token key hit enter submit this you should see the same thing it's a user list it's a list of user so what happens if you want to get a detail of the user by id so let's check in the document you should know, see the user so let's change this to user and this means we are going to get the detail we got the id and for example i want to get the detail of this user so let's copy the id and we got the id and his enter 
Now you should see like this IGV online. Okay, that's updates. No, it's email password. And if you want to get back only email in the data response and ID. Now again, now you should see ID and email. Okay, so if you want to get back from the server only the ID and remove this as ID. Okay, so that is how to wrap work. Okay, so we can actually we can do this by let's open the network hit again for user. And you should see that the parameter is a query equal like that. Let me copy that and open Postman. And remember that we are working with the Postman test. Okay, I'm open a new test and oh, sorry, I'm change to the post and we got this. Uh, okay, our third button. We. I'm going to remove the R, and the body is should be a raw and like a JSON map. And let's see the parameter. We got to query. Copy that. Okay, so query. And here I'm going to do query with. Alright, like that. And needs to make make better. I'm going to do. Is we should see a set denied, I believe, because we don't have any set, any uh, token. Now I'm going to pass the token, copy this token key, and copy to authorization in the header. Now you should see a user ID. And if you want to get some more, for example, email. Now. We should see an email in the data response. Okay, so that's work. Or if you want to change list of all the user with the default, for example, uh, limited limit limit with fifty, and skip zero. And we should see list of user. Okay, so that is how query. It squeezes the query in the GraphQL. And we also have a mutation. Mutation, we can create user, update user. For example, I'm going to do, let's copy with create user. Okay, so let's copy that. And let me change to mutation. I'm going to create a mutation, create a user the first thing we do first name for example test last name meter test like last and email test at gmail dot com and what's our password password equal let me give a password empty and we can see how the validation system work um Okay, this is enough. And what we do want to guess back, back first name, email, last name, uh, ID, and even password. Okay, so that time when we create. Now I'm going to submit. We should see an error because password. I'm going to change the password to admin. And now you should see the user created. Now refresh our database with the user tab. We should see two users are created. The first thing is the default create a root user. And here we just create that. Okay, so that works. Uh, now I'm going to log in with test at gmail dot com password admin is okay now let me change password to admin one I should see password still not match change again should see login and in the token we should see three token and the last one is for test 
it's a belong to the tag user. Okay, so that is the how it Let me check copy that. Copy me the tag user. This is user has no role. Default his it's a only authenticate. Now I'm going to do um let's change this all to a tag user. Now I'm going to submit this a set in IB code with raw the token this had no permission to create a user only the admin later can create a user that is how it works and even we can have more some more mutation like update user delete user log out and update user role and create a token and a lot of something right here um so okay so let's see uh, if i change to the token key to as mini data let's copy that again refresh now create the same the email already user so we can use the same email so this is a test uh, another test as email okay so we have a new user created and so now we can do what we do right here. I'm going to change the mutation to query. Uh, query with a user. Let's do this. Let's submit that. So default, we don't have any argument. So default will be take the default. If you want to limit search one, now default is return one, two, three. As it all, this is 50 maximum. And if you want to limit what third one, now you should see third one. And let's change to limit two. Okay, the two user create. And skip. Skip that means we can use a pop-pack in this. And for example, skip from the first thing is that we not take it. Oh, that one. And skip two. Now you should see only return that two. I, I think. Okay, it's the first one. Because it's auto order by created okay let's get three let's return nothing because we only have a three three user but you skip three and that means no user okay so that is the default model so now I'll I will show you how to make a new custom model okay so now we do new custom model so for example we have a new curtain model in the part let's do part of the yes and now i'm going to import okay so now we do like this i pass default class pass a tent model his answer and web slam will automatically import the model this is the parent model this is the base class and so we can do um, you can contact it and check to should be the app ICT okay like that and we should super um, let's take out the default row and super app dot row let's token and app dot token it's cool so here is the pop CTA or even app now we super app and the next is the name of collection. If I change the name, for example, it change the name of the collection to part, and the new collection in database will create a with the same with part. Okay, so that is how we create a new curtain model, and nothing. We don't need to do anything out with this. And now I'm going to go to index file and here I'm going to import uh, um, part. This is a part model from same as a part part part.js and we don't need to include the extension. And here now I'm going to initialize this model part with new part and CTH. And even we can do this is the CTH, not app. CTH, okay, this is, this is fine. 
Okay, so that means we are running on step mode, so it's automatically refresh our backend service. Backend. So now let's do this by refresh. Oh, I'm sorry, reset API mm -hmm. again. My bad. Okay, so now we do have. A, let's set some document. No schema. Okay, tire part. All right. So I believe we do need to implement the fill. Oh, okay, so let's copy that. Part should be have some fill. So let's copy it, add it for example and remove this. And so what we do, we got grab ID. So let's import wrap. Right, let's copy that for real quick from wrap here. And wrap string and wraps nano okay stay time okay stay time import the time from and should be tie this is custom date time from it should be our side of model so ties date time like that okay this time new date Okay, so what we do right here in the post, and this depend on you. I really like this change in name to post. We have a title. The title is required to yet required title, and we remove that. You know, you require because that means we can use for email. It that means no duplicate title. But in the post, you can have a multiple the post title is the same, and the ID the default. Title create and update this time. Keep it the default. One again, we do have a um, body. Sorry, body, and the body should have a tie. It should be string. And wraps now. No, the body. If you don't want, if you can want allow the body can be empty. The tie wrap string only like that. And if you want to verify the body should not no so you can grab in the wrap QR non null and wrap string okay so we can do default for example default I can leave an empty string it's like that okay let's see our server is automatically refresh and again I'll refresh this now you should see a query now you should see a port with the return or the pot for example I'm going to do pot and hit enter now you should see it set deny because you know the default we can't face in the model and only allow as many data to accept for example if you want to um to custom a permission to allow everyone can accept the pot so what we do how we do that because now I'm not going to use any token in the uh, in the query string, so now we should see a chat deny. And let me show you how we custom a new permission in the new custom model. Okay, so let's take a model default. Now I'm going to copy this uh, permission and copy that to. What we can do right here is override permission from the pattern model. So everyone, except everyone, is denied. It's okay. As mean, accept anything. Okay. So owner, accept. Okay. So now, to save that, now server is refresh. And one again, now you submit it, you should see accept deny to be cut. Now this everyone default we um, we deny it. Now I'm going to copy this one more time for everyone can change for set by um, allow and the asset type. Now I'm going to change it to five and here we can do submit again. Now you should see pause, but you know it's an empty an empty. Okay, so who can create a new for this? Now I'm going to open a new tab and 
I'm going to copy some token. Is token key and log as admin data user and copy with all equal. Yes, now now we are logging with the admin. The mutation create a new part part with title. Um, the part title and body some like well oh, here is the body content like that okay so now we're going to submit it submit this okay so we got like that and if you want to use the default we return only body and if you want to return to title and just include title now another the part title here is the body content now submit again now you should see title here is title in the data callback again now it gets back to another tab when I'm not using any token that means everyone this is everyone role now submit it you should see and um, role this is a role can set all our parts and the query part now if you want to some limits limits for just one part now this is the one part okay limit two and two part reports okay so that and if you want to include title the same thing we do in include title here we can respond back to and title for example in the postman now it's the header is the admin and the body now I'm going to query part and limit and now I'm going to do any limit so default we got uh, ID and part we have a title and body so now I'm going to send this now you should see another part ID okay so that we can change it to file now if I change it to deny so that means now we are not going to everyone see can access to the node to the port for example now submit accept deny okay so if you want to everyone should deny if you want to um, change to only authenticate that means allow this means we are only allow the user who is a login already login with token good not we don't care about hit role that make sure hit is a login so for now let's get back to another test token this is the, the token with the test so now I'm going to copy that and copy this to in the top now I'm going to for example now hit submit we should see a set deny and if I change to all now I'm going to submit we should see this the user uh, this is a test user so login with this token and he can do a set the part now if I don't include the authenticate let's remove that and save it server refresh and now submit you should see a chat deny and that is how we can manage in a set permission in this framework okay it's a happy to make it much further further okay so let me show you how we can make another custom for custom custom like custom query for example query and so for now let's take a look at um, a user I did I did to make a override new query the parent query and we got new query okay so let me copy that query into our new post model now I'm going to override this query and now I'm going to do remove this okay so we override a new apparent parent class so that means we do call if you want to include the default um, default for the post query so like port 
So you should see, you should do parent query and super dot query, and we can we can join it to join two objects and mixing them together. For example, now I can do like this. For example, to um, get a file, or you can get first post like that. Get first post, and now we can do return this schema as default. Return this part detail, and now I'm going to do this and call the user ID and permit this as default. Okay, now I'm going to re remove that. And uh, actually, I can do like this: return new permits, reserve, reject. And for example, now I'm going to do return reject, reject. Um, sorry, not ready that. And now we choose the get first port. Now the server should be refreshed. I am going to do is the refresh this map. Okay, refresh. Now you should see um get first part and we don't have any argument. And we got the ID, uh title and body, the default schema. I'm sorry, get first part submitted. So you should see an arrow it's call back sorry first but not that. So what happened if I change to return reserve to with an array subpart for example and I return an empty array. Now you should see oh sorry you can return no neighbor field for part title. And that means the no, new we can't return an empty an empty. So because because you know in the part title now I'm going to do um I I believe we can do re default value equal like that and default so value okay so now and we can return get yeah, the first part okay get the first part I'm sorry get yeah, the first part it's return only once it return a single single part. So what we do right here is return the first part. Now I'm going to do for example we can return an object reserver uh, with the object like ID equal ABC and title um, test title and body with um, Okay, here is a body content. This is our curtain. Now we choose the server refresh, and now I'm going to refresh. You can get first port. Now you should see an ID, the test. Okay, so now how do we query make a new first port? And we can do like this um, this dot file, file one. We find one the first query and the next is the option the query for example um it's the first part I can do for the first part anything it's for it's a new why one our oh, query new like that so then we got the model and we do return with Server model. Okay, now as you should see, we should see um a part now collection we had part, and we got two part and hit K with the file one the model, and now I'm going to do refresh this. Now you should see here another part title the option. Okay, this file one is in the parent model. I should see query and option like that. Okay, so that is how we do make a new custom query in the model. It's a flexibility, and if you want to cut the mutation, for example, now you can do take a new mutation in the user model. You can override that and make sure 
we need to meet in the custom and also the parent mutation. And here, what else if you don't want to include to the parent model? For example, and the parent query. For example, now I'm going to comment that and parent to an empty object. Now that means we refresh this. Refresh the wrap. Now check in the query. Now you don't see any port. So for example, in the parent, it should be get the port. But for now, if you hit enter, you should see an error because you don't have any. any. We only have only get the first port. So we just only get first port only. Like that's only. So that is why if you want to use the default, default the from method query from so you should call super dot query. Okay, so server refresh and now going to use a port again. Okay. Mm -hmm. Refresh it again. Submit. Okay, so that. Okay, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy to use this my library. It's a free free for you. Go ahead to take it. And I hope you can ha this can help you make your project faster and save us time, save us money. Okay, thank you and see you again. Bye.